boys and girls, it's Miss Webb here. I'm going to help you get warmed up with your maths today. So what you need, I would like you to make yourself a number line which goes all the way up to seven. You don't need to do it any higher than seven because we're going to do some adding with some sea creatures that go up to seven. Okay, so it doesn't need to go up to 10 or 20. It's easier if you just make your number line from one to seven, like I've done on my whiteboard. You can do yours in your book if you like, or just on a big piece of paper. So you might want to pause the video and do that while you're waiting. And what I've also done, I've just made myself a little sea world. I don't have lots of exciting things at home, unfortunately, but I've got some blue paper for my ocean. I've found some nice shells and some nice little kind of sea pebbles that you might find at the bottom of the ocean just to make yourself a little bit of a sea world for your animals. And then I've also got myself a selection of sea creatures. If you don't have many sea creatures, you could make some. You could just make some little fish, ask mummy or daddy to cut out some little fish for you. And that can be what you use to do your number work today. So I said we were going to do lots of adding all the way up to seven. So the answer is never going to be higher than seven. Okay, it might be any of these numbers here, but it's never going to be bigger than seven. Let's count up to seven, just to check we know them really, really well. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's count back from seven down to one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So I said we were going to do some adding and we're going to use our number line to help us add. OK, so it means we're going to be jumping along the number line to work out what the answer is. OK, so once you've got your sea world ready and your number line ready, ready and listen for the first number. My first number is going to be four. Four animals, sea creatures are going to come swimming along into my sea world. One, I hope you can see them. Two, three, and a squid. Four, there are my four sea creatures in my ocean here. Okay, so find number four on your number line. There it is on mine. See if you can find it on yours. So that's the number we're starting with. That's the number that we've got in there at the moment. But two more sea creatures are going to come and join them. And I've got my big whale, big killer whale. So there's one. And I've also got a very scary shark. Two. So we had four sea creatures to start with. So I might just put a little dot at number four on my number line. And then I added two more. I added the whale and the shark. So what I want you to do with your number line is work out what two more or four add two is. And you can do it by doing little jumps. So we've got four here. One jump, two jumps. And what number does that land on? It lands on six well done so that means four add two equals six so that was our first number sentence yours should look a little bit like that can you have a go at writing that number sentence as well brilliant okay you can keep your number line but rub everything else out or if it's in your book then you can just leave it we're going to do it with a different amount this time. Okay, they've all gone, they've all gone somewhere deeper in the ocean, back to just my shells and pebbles. So still just going up to seven. This time I have got three little walruses. They're all different sizes actually. I think there's a daddy walrus, a mummy walrus, and maybe a baby walrus. I've got three walruses in my sea at the moment. Let me put my dot on number three so I know how many we've started with. 
okay but there are going to be some other creatures joining them let's see who's going to join them we've got three little fish one two three i think they like each other the walruses and the fish maybe the walruses might try and eat them though so we had three walruses and then i added three fish which means i have to do three jumps from number three so let's see if you can do it with me one two three what number have i landed on six again but it was a different number sentence this time because we started with three and we added three which made six does anybody know what we call a number sentence where we're adding the same number to itself? It's a double. Three and three is six. Do some finger clicks. We'll look a little bit more at doubling next week. Well done. Right, next one. Keep your number line like this, remember? Off they go, the walruses. They've obviously had enough fishies to eat for one day. This time I am going to do one lovely friendly dolphin can you see my lovely dolphin here he is swimming in my ocean okay so we're starting on number one that's nice and easy put a little dot underneath your one like that okay but he's not staying alone for long because the killer whale and the shark are coming to join him So that's one, two. I'm adding two more creatures into my sea world. So we started with one. I need to do two jumps. One, two. And I've landed on number three. So I started with one. One, add two equals three. And that is my number sentence. That wasn't as many this time, was it? We've had six the past two times, and this time we only had three. So one add two equals three. Well done. Okay, let's do one more. And then I think, I'm hoping your number brains will be warmed up by then. Okay. Off they go, the whale, the dolphin and the shark. Who are we going to have this time? Oh, I think we're going to have... Mr. Octopus and three fish. So one, two, three. So we've got four animals in my sea world to start with. I'll put my dot on number four. Can you see there? I've got four animals in my sea world. And the three walruses are back. One, two, Three, but also the shark. Oh, okay. So here we go. We've got three fish and one octopus. So we started on four, and I've added three walruses and a shark. Oh, I think I'm going to need a longer number line because look one, two, three. Oh, ah! I can't go any further. What's the next number? Eight. So you imagine you've got an imaginary eight there. I tricked you for that one, didn't I? So we've got four that we started with. Add. We added another four. Which left us with eight altogether. Well done if you managed to solve that little challenge there. I tricked you there, didn't I? Okay. I'll let you have some fun with your sea world now and you can do lots of different number sentences, maybe some different ones that I haven't done. Because there's lots of different ways that we can make seven and all these numbers in between as well. Okay, have some fun with your with your sea world, boys and girls. See you soon. Bye. <laughs>